Hello YouTube, this is Braden with Midwest Websites, your solution for business website design and search engine optimization. Has it been a while since you've gone into your WordPress dashboard to check on your website? Bring it up to date and give it a fresh new look by speaking with our professional web designers. Link in the description below. Now, last week we talked about Contact Form 7 and the benefits that adding contact forms to your website can bring to your business. So today I wanted to take a little bit of time to look at one of the more popular add-ons for Contact Form 7, a plugin called Flamingo. Those who have watched the Contact Form 7 video may recall that there was a little blurb for it up at the top of the Contact Form 7 area when you were going in and working with that plugin settings. So today I figured I'd install this plugin and go over the pros and cons of adding this message storage feature to messages that are sent through your contact forms. I've already gone ahead and installed it in the WordPress admin dashboard here along with Contact Form 7 so we can see how the two work together since they were designed by the same development team. As you can see here on the left, we've actually added a button for Flamingo and it's got two separate buttons here. One is an address book and the other is for looking at your inbound messages. Both are pretty straightforward, so we'll go ahead and start with the address book. Basically what this does is it's going to show you a list of email addresses, much like you might have within your email platform of choice, Office 365 or Earthlink or any of the other providers that are out there. When you install Flamingo for the first time, it's going to pull any email addresses that are associated with any contact forms that you've already set up. I've gone in and changed a few settings in my contact form and run a few tests, so I've got a few extra here, but usually you're just going to have email addresses that are tied in with each of your contact forms to start. If you make any adjustments to the email addresses for your contact form, Flamingo will do a pretty good job of updating them automatically when you either deactivate and reactivate the plugin, or when you go in and actually have your contact form used for the first time. If the address isn't present, it will actually add it into your address book for you, and it will also affiliate the address with any areas that are relevant. As you can see here, design at midwestwebsites.com is a user address, whereas the uh, test at test.com address shows as coming in as part of the contact form and as part of the contact form 7 plugin itself. Going in and taking a look at the inbound messages, I ran a couple test emails through here just to kind of see how it would work. I've been through and deleted most of them at this point, but I left one in here so that we could take a look at it and see how it looks in your inbound message area. As you can see, there's a section for your inbox, there's a section for your spam, and if you delete any messages, there will be a section for your trash as well. To look at a message, we're just going to go ahead and click on the View button here, and it's just going to give you some basic information. It's going to show the information that was filled in for your contact form in this first section here for the fields. And then it's going to give you a little more information down below here as to when it was submitted, where the form came from, that sort of thing. Now, this is where we have to talk about one of the major downsides of Flamingo. And while this applies to Contact Form 7 to a very small extent, Flamingo actually can blow this far out of proportion. I'm talking about where all of this information is being stored. Now, any of the details that are going to be going in for your contact forms or any messages that are stored through Flamingo are actually going to be saved to your database here in phpMyAdmin. Specifically, they're going to go to the WP underscore posts table. Now, on the surface, this doesn't seem like a problem. You get your messages even if something goes wrong with the server or if you misconfigured something. Cool, that's awesome. What happens if you don't clean those out, though? What if you decide to use it as a second email repository? What if a bot starts spamming it and has 20, 30, 40, 50,000 messages pouring into this table? The answer is really bad news. Even though each message is going to be really small, we're talking kilobytes on the message, a large number of those can add up and this can cause several problems with your database. 
ranging to slow function all the way up to crashing tables if things get severe enough. Additionally, a lot of shared hosting providers, including GoDaddy among others, have limitations on how big your database can be. Your database with GoDaddy, for example, can't exceed one gigabyte in size per their terms of service, and if it does and their network admins catch it, you'll get a nice little notification from them and further disciplinary action up to and including termination of the website and removal of the database. So if you're going to use a plugin like Flamingo, you have to keep this in mind because if you're not maintaining the plugin, if you intend to use it as a set and forget sort of website, it might take a year, it might take two years. I've spoken with people where it could take as long as five years, but eventually they run into this problem and are confused because nobody warned them that it could be an issue. All of a sudden they've got a giant database, their web developer is long gone, and they have no way to know how to go in and clean it up. Sure, you can go into the admin dashboard and hit the inbound messages area and start removing the messages yourself, but typically speaking, only so many messages appear on a page, and if you're to the point where your website's been spammed, you're going to be spending several days cleaning it up, which, if you're a business owner, you simply don't have the time to do. So if you're going to use Flamingo, that's my warning to you. Make sure that you stay on top of your inbox here and keep it cleaned out. Any messages you don't need to keep here, don't keep here. If you have a web developer who can help you keep this cleaned out, make sure they know to come in here and either take backups or keep things cleared out so that your WordPress website continues to run smoothly. Thanks as always for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe down below. Definitely helps the channel, definitely helps get this information out to those who need it, and have a great rest of the day.